Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Jiu Jets Show. And today we're going to be talking about the third day of practice. So without any hesitation, let's get it started. So I do want to quickly mention that we did in fact sign Kawan Alexander yesterday. If you didn't know, Kawan Alexander is now a New York Jet. Let's freaking go. And Robert Salas said in his press conference today that he likes Alexander's versatility and energy and said that he's a very special young man. Now let's go ahead and talk about day three of practice, starting off with a Zach Wilson update. So he did throw two interceptions today. He started off practice by throwing a really ugly pass to Corey Davis that was intercepted by Bryce Hall. And then he was picked off by Jordan Whitehead in the red zone towards the end of practice so so far in training camp Zach Wilson has thrown three interceptions but on the bright side two of those interceptions were two new members of this defense DJ Reed on Wednesday and Jordan Whitehead today so it looks like that these new members of the defense are already starting to make changes Zach Wilson didn't completely sneak up practice today he did throw four touchdowns on our first set of red zone drills he threw back-to-back -to -back touchdowns to Garrett Wilson and Corey Davis and that touchdown pass he had to Corey Davis was just a really beautiful ball he threw Threaded the needle, fit it in a tight window, got it to Corey Davis, and he dove out and caught the ball. Just a really beautiful play. And then after he threw the interception to Jordan Whitehead, he threw back-to-back -back touchdowns again to Corey Davis and Garrett Wilson. So it's good to see that he's already establishing a connection with our young receiver Garrett Wilson, and he's making up for his mistakes. I mean, after he threw the interception, threw back-to-back -back touchdowns, so good to see that. And then on a third down period, he completed passes to Michael Carter, Elijah Moore, and Corey Davis. But now let's go ahead and move on from Zach Wilson and talk about other things that happened today in practice. So Rashad Davis, who we recently signed from the Tampa Bay Bandits of the USFL, had a really nice end-around touchdown today where absolutely nobody touched him. And whenever Kyle tweeted this out, it really reminded me of Vincent Smith. So it feels like Rashad Davis could be what Vincent Smith was, but better which is essentially what Braxton Berrios is, but it looks like we're gonna have two good versions of Vincent Smith on the roster in Braxton Berrios and Rashad Davis, which I'm absolutely not complaining about. And if Rashad Davis does in fact make the roster, him and Braxton Berrios would of course be a good duo on offense, but also on special teams, because Rashad Davis was one of the best return men in the USFL this past season. So looks like Rashad Davis is gonna be a pretty solid addition for the New York Jets. Let's talk about our kicking competition that we have going on between Eddie Pinero and Greg Zerline. I'm Team Eddie Pinero if you were interested, but both made three out of the four kicks today. And on Wednesday, sorry I didn't talk about the kicking, kicking competition, but on Wednesday, both of them made all four of their kicks. Now the Jets were kicking a little farther back today, and if you guys wanna know how they made their kicks, Eddie Pinero missed his first one, but made the last three, and Greg Zerline made the first two, missed the third one, and made the fourth. So no kicker has been better than another so far in training camp, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this competition you know goes down in training camp so Scarter had a really nice pass deflection on a pass from Joe Flacco that was intended to Denzel Mims so good to see that Sauce Gardner is making some moves Chuma Adoka is doing well against Carl Lawson Connor Hughes pointed out today and I mean I completely agree with him I mean we have not heard Carl Lawson's name at all in training camp. I mean, the only time we've talked about Carl Lawson is whenever he was activated off the pup list. And this could mean one of three things. Either Chuma Adoga finally is blooming and he just was a late bloomer. Carl Lawson, Achilles injury is really taking a toll on him. Or it's the third practice of training camp Carl Lawson hasn't played football since like last August. He's going to be rusty. And as we continue to go through training camp, once we start playing preseason games, we're gonna start to see the rust come off. So I wouldn't sweat about, you know, Carl Lawson not really having any sacks. But speaking of sacks, let's talk about who sacked Zach Wilson today. So Quincy Williams got in on Zach Wilson and Quentin Williams sacked Zach Wilson two times to a day. First, I'm talking about Quentin Williams so far in training camp, and this is a contract year for him, so I'm definitely expecting big things. And Michael Clemens, the rookie, did in fact sack Mike White today. And the star of yesterday's training camp, Brees Hall, 
got a shout out from Connor Hughes today. Hughes said that if the New York Jets can keep games close, Brees Hall is going to have a big season and it's impossible not to see that he's different. We saw as many people's rookie of the year favorite and it's just good to see that the New York Jets have a young stud running back who hopefully is going to be making huge changes to this offense and that running back duo between Brees Hall and Michael Carter hopefully is just going to be absolutely nasty. And George Fan and Braxton Berrios were working on the side with trainers today. If you were wondering why George Fant wasn't on the field and why Braxton Berrios wasn't on the field either. Well, that is everything that happened on the third day of training camp. Pretty busy day. So if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting the subscribe and like buttons. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Jude underscore Jets. For more content, you can also check me out on Let's Talk Sports. Gonna write a Jets article for them today, kind of recapping everything that happened in training camp. I also am their host of their TikTok channel, and I will be joining the channel for some NFL and Jets live streams. So if you guys are interested in that, or, you know, just checking out their channel because they have so much sports content, you can do so by clicking their Facebook link down below in the description. But that's all. I'm your host, Jets, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.